the lion has an unfortunate reputation for being phenomenally lazy. And I would just like to set the record straight. They're not really lazy. They're very patient. They have this sort of lifestyle that you really, as a scientist, also have to be extremely patient in order to get a sense of what's really going on. There have been several things that I've learned about lions that I never, ever would have guessed. First and foremost, we wanted to know why are lions social? All the other cats are solitary, militantly solitary, yet lions do so many different things at a group level. So over the years, students and myself have worked together to try to figure out if they were social because of advantages of hunting in groups. And the answer to that is no. Is it because they can raise their cubs more successfully? And the answer to that is yes, but it's a complicated answer. The real reason why lions live in groups is the fact that they have access to very valuable territory that's often centered around key hotspots in the environment. Usually the confluences of tributaries where the prey become more abundant. <laughs> So the lions have food, water, and shelter. And a pride to be able to reproduce successfully needs to have several of those hot spots so it can have enough food over the two years it takes to raise a new cohort of young. In the back, MK54. She was one of the founders of this pride. We're monitoring over 300 lions in 24 different social groups. We're interested in getting as much data as we can every day so that we can have a really comprehensive picture of what's happening now in real time. When you operate on that scale, you get a much better and more precise picture of what's really important in the lions' lives. Well, right now, we're actually in one of the most exciting phases of this 46-year research project. Because just beginning a few years ago, we started setting out these camera traps. These 225 cameras generate one million photographs a year. And for the very first time, we not only know where the lions are, we're getting day and night information about where are the wildebeest, where are the giraffe, where are the aardvarks. So the very first time now, we know how the lions are likely to respond to subtle changes in the distribution of their prey throughout their territories over about a 1,000 kilometer area. The lions to survive are gonna need huge stretches of undisturbed land. There's no other country in the world that has nearly as many lions as does Tanzania. But the country is struggling to be able to conserve those wild areas. The Serengeti, if it can be protected, can provide a home for lions forever. <laughs> 